And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frostbite midrange. Bringing this deck back, the first time that we played it was a couple of weeks ago and it didn't go well, not gonna lie, but our deck was a lot different. We have complete, we have overhauled it, up updated it, upgraded it, um, and going to try again before we had like the Elnuk package and all sorts of other stuff in it. But this deck is certainly built around Ash and using Ash's ability to Frostbite stuff. Um, we have some challengers in here with the Rhyme Fang Wolf, Legion Drummer, uh, Trifarian Glory Seeker, like that kind of combo. So both Legion Drummer and all the Frostbite cards helping out our um, challenger cards. We got one Katarina, because um, really like the first Katarina is the best Katarina. It's not something that you necessarily want to draw multiple loves. The champion spell isn't very good, and whenever you play this, you strike. It goes back to your hand, so you can keep on playing it over and over. Um, so it's really something that you, you just really need the first copy of. And then we even got the two Trindamirs at the top end to get some uh, get some finishing power into the deck to help us finish out games. Um, I do like like the one drops. You know, we get the Omen Hawks, but then just even Brittle Steel Elixir of Iron go in the full three of each of both of those, like so that we have good one mana interaction. Uh, so I think that's going to help out our deck. And then um, yeah, we can have Hearth Card make our creatures bigger. Uh, Assessor can draw some cards. You know, the Bjerg help replace themselves. Deck's got a lot going for it. So, uh, I know this this combination here, though, is something that I, I haven't had the most success with, with uh, playing decks in the past. But I'm excited about this one. So here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the single Katarina. Let's see if we can get Cat to win some games for us. So we got the standing desk right now. It's moved up. We... We're getting a little blood blood flow going, so I'm not just sitting down all all stream. And we're gonna be playing ten matches. The goal is to win at six out of ten. Hmm. I guess we'll get rid of the harsh winds and keep the rest. Hey Pedro, I, I have been playing Legends of Runeterra instead. Yeah, standing desk. So it can, you know, we could be sitting down or I can move it up. We can start standing. Um, I wrote a, a few weeks ago why I think Legends of Runeterra is a better game than Magic. And so you can check that out. So yeah, Pedro, if you haven't if you haven't checked out this game at all, I recommend it. Also, uh, for those of y'all that, that are just kind of joining in that may not have seen it, um, there's an update to the XP system, and the weekly rewards are getting a buff. We're going to be getting even better, um, even better vaults and everything and the vaults aren't capped at level 13 anymore doesn't start with tomorrow's week it's gonna be the week after that so week from week from tomorrow but that's exciting So presumably they're going to increase the power of Draven. We can brittle steal Draven back. Ah, uh, they did. Yep, so they had vision. That was the best possible thing they could have was the vision. I guess I, I could have... Maybe that's a better place just to use Elixir of Iron here, honestly. Then the brittle steal. I'm not sure. It's kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. Victory. 
Well, we're going to be needing the elixirs to keep our legion drummers alive and everything, too. Hey, Rev Wokey, River Shaper, Fiora, because River Shaper, um, so River Shaper is three mana, two, one. Whenever it strikes, you draw a card. Fiora is, um, you know, obviously you know what Fiora is. So basically, both of those cards are cards you want to keep alive for a long time. Like, you want to be able to strike with the River Shaper, keep, and draw a card, but then also it stays alive. You know, obviously, there's reasons for you to want to keep... Um, there's obvious reasons for you to want to keep, um, run. Fiora alive. So it's basically, it's a creature protection deck, you know, like it's, it's you try to keep your threat alive for a while. Oh, River Shaper is draw a spell? Okay. I actually was, did not really know that. Interesting. I thought it was just draw a card. Yeah, so yeah, you just keep on drawing more shields and stuff like that. So yeah, the deck has a bunch of a bunch of barriers, you know, twin disciplines, uh, stuff like that, some denies, a judgment. So you could you could draw like the judgment. Yeah, it's definitely a close game. If we were, if we both gained twenty life and they were at twenty five and we we're at twenty seven, the game would be great for us. Like we would, we would, we're we we're gonna win a long game. Um, like this assessor is gonna draw a million cards. Ash is amazing, but that's not how the game goes. We're already down to five with just this this attack does two damage to us, so we're both at five. And this thing's gonna uh oh. Huh. Alright, so that does not that's not gonna overwhelm. Alright, so we're at five right now. Let's save. So basically, this is going to kill all of my creatures. We can save one of them. If we save the five power. Alright, so they can't block. I have two lethal attackers and they can't block. So... It's gotta be game, right? Okay. 
Okay, they get to block. One of them. Alright, one now. Yeah, that was a good game. GG's. GG's. Oh, and then the other thing about the the unlimited XP for if you're playing like ranked, you get 200 and 100 base XP every time. So like, does that mean, um, and AI wins are always a 50 XP. So you have unlimited XP for AI wins also. So I think, is, does that mean that every win is 200 and every loss is 100? Hey, Dishwalla. Yeah, we got a Katarina in here. Just the one copy because, like, the first copy is so much better than others. But it's an, it's an awesome late game card. And uh, that's basically why it's in here. You know, you get to strike with it, uh, put it back into your hand. Um... And, you know, you can keep on playing it, keep on getting more attack steps. It's awesome with Ash, you know, like, attack with Ash, Frostbite, play play Katarina, Rally, attack with Ash again. Um, yeah, it's just a good late game card. Um, I don't think I've played Mogwai's Catering Ram deck, no. I did play one Battering Ram deck, but it did not have Katarina in it, and it wasn't very good. I think Katarina would have made it better. The deck that we're playing up, or the last deck that we're playing, the Spiders Von Yip, that's a Mogwai deck. What's up, WQ? Hang on, hey. After the new patch, no, you you don't get zero. You never get you never get zero, right? It says at least two hundred and one hundred base XP every time. They'll never see us coming. So I'm going to keep the brittle steel in hand instead of keeping elixir of iron. It says... Um... Oh yeah, never mind. It doesn't say anything about losses, does it? Okay, maybe oh, that is just for wins. Yeah, you're right. But it's at least, yeah, at least 100. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't say anything about losses. Glad I used the Elixir of Iron last time and saved the Brittle Seal this time. That worked out perfectly. We both still have three cards in hand, but we got two awesome units in play. Yes, North America server, Dosa. Yep. Closing in on the 
mark. No, I think it's I think it's 200 for like your first however many wins in normal ranked and expeditions and then 100 after a certain amount. That's how it, that's how I would interpret it. Hey Maximus. Let's draw some cards. Why do you have this this thing on you? Um, stack with you. Attack with you. Attack with you. You and you. All right, so you're gonna frostbite Zed. We're gonna put Zed over here. Frostbitten. I feel like, you know, like they just pass. I feel like they have, like, something that they're going to try to keep Zed alive with. Maybe, actually, maybe they just have other units to play, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to go over here. And then... Eh. No, we'll go here and here. Yeah, we'll go there and there. All right. Attack. <laughs> no, you're you're no, I mean it's basically it's it's very hard to tell. Um Jeb. You're you're right. The I mean English is my first language, but still how they use the word respectively right there doesn't doesn't really make the most sense. And it's not really the most telling to be honest. So if they use any kind of pump, we'll flash freeze. I think right now we're just going to let the damage happen. And flash freeze on my turn. The time is right. Strike now. I'll lead us to victory. <laughs> that assessor chilling over here. Something going on outside, like a large truck or something. Hey, we got two new subs. We have Lucas, Articuno, and Phelion. Welcome to the channel, both of y'all. Thank you, Santa Kitty Dexterity. Let's get some hype votes in the chat for our two new subs. Lux Karma. Get rid of that. For sure. And we'll get rid of Assessor also. Yeah. I'm not sure about getting rid of the assessor. So basically, we'd have it like we play the Bjerg on turn four, it draws us a five power unit, we play the five power unit, and then afterwards, then we play the assessor and try to draw a card. So we'd be looking at playing it like turn six at the earliest.
That is great. A five power assessor. That is much better. The games, yeah, if they're playing best of three with sideboard with this game, the games could be very long, honestly. So they should, they're probably going to be playing like the six mana spell, right, with it being a Lux deck, like, oh, they just played that thing? I wish I would have rhymed thing wolf that. Um... Yeah, this this game with with sideboards, we're talking, you know, like it'd probably be pretty easily be one hour games or more, because um, there's you know there's not like the non games that can happen. It's like every game is you know you can have especially like two slower decks you know easily have twenty minute game times three. So I'd be a little concerned about that. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's that's probably a better than yeah, for like a competition than um, three, and then just picking three different decks and playing best of one of each one. That's, yeah, I mean, I agree. Step like that. But that is. Not and ready. Look out there! So I want to trade this for the the life blade. The reason why I wouldn't is is of course assessor. I'll cut them apart. Face me. I guess I do have elixir of iron that I can use also. I need more of these other creatures to die, though, so I can, you know, play, like, next turn, play Glory Seeker, play Assessor. Wouldn't made any difference for putting Glory Seeker first or not. It's not like they weren't at, they weren't at twenty. They would have gained. They still would have gained two life. Sweet. 
Um, yeah, I don't I don't like the you have four decks, opponent gets to ban one, and then first to one game with three remaining decks. I don't like that at all. I don't like the I don't like a format where opponent bans a deck. Cause like let's say you have like a pet deck that you know you've been playing a whole bunch of and you know it's like it's your deck like you made it and you've been playing a whole lot and it's, it's something that you you really know in and out and everything and it's it's your deck and then you, the opponent can just be like well no you don't get to play that one play these other decks you don't like as much. I don't think that's very good. <laughs> yeah, you called it Red Wilkie. You called it. Trifarian Glory Seeker is basically just going to be a removal spell for us. Oh man, what a draw. I keep step with the of Never Nexus. mind. Because like, if you're looking over there, you're like, what are you supposed to do? Just play, play a unit that's going to just die to Trifarian Glory Seeker? Or if you don't, you're taking 10. They may have like Brood Awakening. Ah, Withering Whale, that's great. That is great. That was the card to play. Withering Whale. I think that's how it's pronounced. the turn. Hmm. Show them the might of Noxus. Still blocks there. They have to give their thing like plus three, plus three. Or they're just gonna use Mark of the Isle or uh, Glimpse Beyond. They're just gonna use Glimpse Beyond and sacrifice it and draw two. Right, exactly. Yeah, Mark of the Isles doesn't give the plus three, plus three, but they would have to do plus three, plus three to make that try to be a trade. And yeah, they're just gonna Glimpse Beyond. Alright, I'm gonna go with the draw two. I think I play Omen Hawk first. Guide our allies, my friend. Even though Line up. I guess I'm playing into you know, I'm playing into Ruination right now. All I did was, all I did to play into Ruination was play that extra Omen Hawk. I think that was probably worth you it still. The right to call themselves Trifarian. We play stuff pre combat or not? It's really the. That is the question.
I haven't needed Reckoning so far. I don't know if the deck's better with Reckoning. I don't know. Um, I would say probably not. Like, it hasn't hasn't been something we really needed. It Reckoning, you know, is kind of an expensive... Um, we march as one, an unstoppable force. It is kind of expensive. It's going to be a long time, Rex, till everything goes back to normal. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's going to be a while. Four mana. It could be like File Feast, File Feast. Called it. That's a good card. That egg. Did it move? What's up after wizard? I know just the Hope place. life's going good. Be at peace. It's too late for that. I think they're playing Ruination. Like, if I play Hearthguard, are they going to Ruination? Many tribes under one banner. I hope not. If they do, this turns into a 10-10. But it kills my other four things. So basically, they would trade Ruination and uh, two creatures for my four creatures. And this thing just flips. Yeah, Trindamir does level up with Ruination. So that's why I'm hoping they don't play it. I wouldn't mind them playing something else just to get under that much mana. Because I want to play the Assessor. And draw. F I guess only draw three. Only the finest serve. Hmm. Okay, that's not ruination. Sounds of prey. To victory. I guess we attack with everything else first. I'll show you how it's done. Just drop something. Get me out of here. There it is. <sighs> this assessor is really helping us play a late game. You know, like we have five cards, they have five cards. Playing straight up there. Is Elixir of Iron on anything worth it? So basically, be these two. Do I want Elixir of Iron, the Assessor, or the Legion Drummer? And I think my answer is no. I think I want to try to save bigger creatures with Elixir of Iron. You know, I don't want that, you know, like, save, like, a Trindomir or something. Keep Trindomir from leveling up for a little bit. Oh, 
Where are you? Hey, Wafu Gate. Rune Terra is awesome. This game is really, really cool. Uh, they did update um, the like so it already has amazing rewards where I was where I've already told people you don't you really don't need to spend any money on this game, but they even they even up, updated the weekly rewards today so the the vault that you get every single week is even better. And and yeah, this next or this game's just. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait for more sets. You know, like, we're only in the one set so far. I can't wait for more sets. Because even with the one set, everything's so balanced and... Um, yeah, let's play another Glory Seeker and then go straight to combat. Victory requires a sharp blade. Mm -mm. I guess I should play Rhyme Fang Wolf because of, yeah, Withering Whale. Yeah, that no, I completely agree. It's very, very difficult to keep up with multiple card games and really be on top of multiple. That is very true, and so that's why I moved from Magic here to to play in this game because yeah, it's it's really tough to be to really be on top of others. Yeah, the update for the re weekly rewards. Um, I'll give you a couple of links here. This is the link for the for that, but then also um, this is just the link to their their news. You know, playrunterra.com uh, has the news on there. Now, you know, so if you want to kind of bookmark that one and, and have that check that one every so often, but. Let's go. All right, attack, 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 attack. I'll cut them apart. Face me. Definitely assuming they'll have Withering Whale. I that'd be nice if they don't, but that's my assumption. Darn. Darn, that's even worse. Alright, so they're going to gain 6 life. This is going to put them down to 8. Um, so I can either save the Assessor. And then do another 5 damage to them, and then they go down to 3 after this. But I... A lot of my stuff dies, and they still keep their karma, or I could go Elixir of Iron on the Glory Seeker, so their karma dies. But then they go to, so then they're at 8, and then this will be dead and still. So basically, do I want to... I probably should do that. Oh, wait, uh, no, yeah, so this is only cast once. Okay. You know, what? let's just use one of these harsh ones. Actually, also, let's keep the glory seeker alive. I was judged. I only... Rough. This is such a close game. Nope. 
That was a bold attack for a minute. Another Withering Whale would really, really hurt. But good news, they've played one. That one was doubled. I think they played a second one, right? Didn't they play Withering Whale earlier? Yes, two. So they've played two Withering Whales, so they only... You can only possibly have one more. But that's why I'm not going to play the Ice Veil Archer here to play into it. Yep, most generous CCG model just became more generous. <laughs> I keep bouncing my Trindomirs. Keep staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. Bounce, bounce, trend me. Stay alive. What my phone's doing. Oh yeah, Ruination right now would kill Trendemir because they double up Ruination with Karma. That's something for me to consider. I have, European man. Yes, I have. Um, I need to start motivating myself now to pick that back up with Legends of Runeterra content. But yes, I have. Hopefully be a lethal attack now with this ash. Whoa, QQ. Where are my hype boats? There we go. Getting that resub in. Oh no. Do you know I've actually never never found out never figured out how to do video editing at all. I've never I, I don't know how to do that at all. So, um, Averosans, stand together. Whoops. Look out there. So that's a burst speed spell, so I still keep priority. Now this be able to block. So none of these, none of these creatures can block because of Ash. Yeah, that's a tough one. Alright, we're 4-0. Oh, frostbite mid-range. 
would have really upgraded this deck. We're up to rank number 45 now. Yesterday we got to 7th. That's the highest I've ever been. Yeah, this deck's going strong. Last time we played this deck, we went like 05 or maybe even 06. But the deck's completely different, though, from last time we played it also. Really changed it. Upgraded it. Updated it. Okay, let's see. Dravenez. Oh no, Dravenez is so good. Dravenez is so good. Kind of want to keep this hearth guard. Keep hearth guard. Um, this is a this is a good deck, yes, but I'm not sure if it's a tier one deck or not. Like, I don't I don't know if this is like the very best tier, but it's it's definitely at least tier two, and it's. It's proving to be pretty good, but you know, like this is only four games. Let's you know, we'll keep playing it through the other six. We'll be playing ten games with it, you know, to see how it continues on. But um, right now, so far, so good. I I really like the I really like the change like where you don't just level up to level 13 you have infinite infinite levels you just keep on getting more and more capsules I think that's that's awesome Time for a true display of skill Winter take you With the vault, with that kind of vault change um the expedi the purchases I think that's I think that's good that you can purchase as many wild cards as you want I think that's good um, I'm not sure what the change is with the expedit. You know, like, you don't always get a champion now, but it only costs 2,000. Um, I'm, su I'm sure the, the, basically I think that the, those changes will probably be just fine, but I just don't know, don't have enough information of what the new expedition is going to look like. I do is it going to be limited again? I don't think it is. I need just a moment. Yeah, I'm sure it's it's absolutely going to be a champion equivalent at higher levels. Definitely. It didn't say that none of them will. It's just, uh, it's just not a guaranteed random champion because you basically have the guaranteed random champion now in, um, you, you now have the guaranteed random champion. This could have been a bad attack, honestly, there. Because, like, the 5-2 is going to turn back into a 5-1, and it would have been a 5-1 even if I would have killed Ezreal. So I basically just had my 3-2 trade with their 3-2, and that could have been a bad attack. I got ways to find in Seven wins is now an epic capsule, 2,000 shards, and two rare wild cards. Okay, where where do you see like where they say the new rewards and everything are? Was that in that article that I, d I just missed it? Oh, okay. A, a commenter from Riot, Riot on Reddit, said the post about it. Okay.
Gotcha. Thanks, Jeb. Um, I don't think they're really killing expeditions, honestly. For that, I you know that. So I, even with that, like that's still, you know, you get your entropy back and you get an epic capsule and you get two rare wild cards. And of course, epic capsules always have the ability to upgrade. Save the homestead. Swiftly now. But wow, yeah, I guess those those rewards aren't really aren't as good. Like the especially like lower down, the one, two, three, four, five win like I mean, once you get to five wins it starts being a little bit, but like one through four wins. Like four wins in an expedition is not bad. And you get it costs two thousand shards and all you would get would be three hundred shards and two common wild cards. Oh, you also get the epic capsule. Okay. So you always get an epic capsule. That's not so bad. Stand and defend. The time is right. Strike now. Um, I'm probably not doing another expedition for a little while, Rex. Because uh, I have all of the champions, so I don't really have a need necessarily to do the the expedition. Um, you know, so basically, I'll I'll get even less rewards for doing the expedition. So I think I'm I'm taking a little break from the expeditions. I know the. Uh, the, these regular deck videos usually do better on, on YouTube and everything, too. So I'll take a little bit of a break from the expedition for now. Yep, so that's what they that's why they made their 4-3 attack. Is because they wanted to be able to kill my hearth card. Like that's why they attacked at the 4-3 into my 5-5. Five five. It's because they had a static shock. Yeah, you really enjoy them. Yeah, they are pretty fun to play. Maybe, maybe we'll do one this week. I'm not sure yet, but I won't be doing as many at the very least. Opponent. Opponent's like, that's a big Trindamir. Our banner will lead the way. Our banner will lead the way. The banner's not leading the way, you're leading the way. The banner's behind you. Many tribes under one banner. Maybe that'll maybe that's what I'll title the YouTube video. For this one. Hey, welcome back, Blade. Hey Yud. Expedition change? Um, 
Somebody just linked to this. This is the new exhibition stuff. Um, so it's it's getting it's only two thirds of the entry fee now. It's only two thousand um, shards instead of three thousand shards, but the rewards are a lot less. Um, but with that with that being said. Um, the weekly rewards are really, really getting ratcheted up, and we're going to be getting a lot more for vaults and everything. New vaults are going to be awesome. Up there in the mountains. You never reach level 10 vault though. Well, you now get an ex you now you now get a free expedition. Um so a couple of things. You now get a free expedition for level 2 instead of level 10. If you get to level 5, victory requires a sharp blade. <clears throat> level 5, you get a random champion card. So like in, that's why instead of the expeditions giving random champions, just going getting to level five, you get a random champion. If you get to level ten, that's when you get a champion wild card. So you can get by getting to level ten now, you get a champion wild card every single week, which is awesome. And then they don't, they don't, um, they don't uh, cap at 13 anymore. Instead of capping at 13, you just keeps on going infinitely and each each new level that you get, you get an, another capsule. Um and so you can get you can get as many capsules each week as like how much you play and and each capsule has three rares and two commons. So that's a that's a lot of rares, honestly. Like rares are what I've kind of noticed have been difficult to get. So you can get a lot of rares. And of course, each individual capsule has a chance to upgrade to like an epic or a champion capsule. Um, and besides that, the AI XP is not capped anymore. So if you want to just like, especially if you're starting starting out and you want to just play against the computer, it's at least 50 XP for every single win against the computer. You can just... You can just farm XP that way if you're just starting out and, and you know, scared of playing ranked and that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, the deck is here, and there's there's the code on the right-hand side of that. What am I doing with this? Lucia Callista. Replace, replace. <laughs> the problem is I'm not scared of playing ranked. I just don't win much. Oh, we got our Katarina. We'll see what Cat can do for us. The world awaits. Forward. Yeah, right now it's it's a hundred versus AI. You st it still starts as a hundred, but you know how like after it's a you get a hundred right away, but then after a little bit it it goes down to zero. What they're saying is it it no longer goes down to zero. All right, let's flip this Katarina, or level up. Rude.
All right, so they get to kill my Legion Drummer. I get to kill their Callista. And I get to put Katarina back in my hand. Really? You don't think they'll ever know? You don't think it'll be that, you know, Katarina that I cast over and over and over again? No? You think they'll just never know? Alright, I guess they'll just never know. Um, I think this turn we will play... I think this turn it's kind of better to, to double spell and play two drop, three drop. Next turn I can two drop and Katarina. Remember the fallen. I already forgot about him. I'm supposed to take the 4 1? Yeah, because I can't save. Can't save Legion Drummer from the 4 1. or less power. I think that's five power. So playing this means they just don't draw two cards. It's probably worth it. The reason why they don't block the Katarina, because as soon as Katarina strikes, it goes back to my hand. So Katarina would have just dealt uh, four damage to the Radiant Guardian. Of course, it's tough, so three damage, but it would have just dealt damage to the Radiant Guardian. I smell a bite. That's what the rhyme thing wolf said. Do not stand in my way.
Just taking it. Justice will be served. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get through. Okay. Okay. The unworthy. That the best you got. Sounds pretty scary. If I play Archer, I only get one attack. If I play Katarina, I get two attacks. Never. If I, you know, if I play like Katarina, then Katarina. Let's start with the Katarina, see what they do. bad. Line up. Okay. I deal with that. Frost by mid range. Up to number 29. This deck's not bad. This deck's not bad. <laughs> Peaceful, why are you mad? Don't be mad. Our deck's doing good. Oh, were you mad whenever they killed the Katarina? Oh, that was you. Okay, that was your impression of Trindamir leveling. <laughs> I gotcha. Um, am I keeping Dubs, Omenhawk? And Hearthguard. They are like my favorite cards. Yeah, this is really a weird deck. Oh no. Those weren't really the best best draws though. I could I could definitely see us getting overrun here. Looks like opponent doesn't want to trade birds. Oh yeah, we are playing against swim. Feed Demacia, because the world awaits. Rossi! What's up, Rossi? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Staying on that seven month streak. It's a sub number four of the day. Boom. Uh, let's see. So we're going to just attack here, and that's about it. To victory! I could see them blocking with the Omen Hawk. <laughs> if 
Rex, it's not not TSMTG anymore. Break their spirit and their soul. Our next creature is going to have two pumps. So we've, we haven't, we've only drawn the one creature so far. So our next creature is going to have two pumps from the Omen Hawks, and then the one after that will have one. Three, four war chefs and three, five protege. Those are some good omen hog hits. This is kind of rough. Wow. That is pretty awesome battlefield. Yep, very well done. No one goes home Perfect attacks. Up, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I could honestly see this being a waste of an elixir of iron, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, they're cooking. They're sure cooking. They got this guy, and this guy, and this guy over here. Got all three of the war chefs. Man, our next creature that we draw is going to be big. Should have plus three, plus three now, because we have not drawn creatures from these Omen Honks. I'm doing good, Zuvar. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. Yuck. Show them the might of Noxus. Face the glory. Mm, a delicious challenge. So I'm two for one myself here. I'm trading my uh, Babbling Bjerg and a Brittle Steel just for a War Chefs, but I also get five points of damage in. And that's if this happens like this, you know, if there's no other trick over here, but sure it looks like there is. Okay, so now I'm just three for one myself. Yeah, now we just got three for one there. Man, we can't draw. We can't draw units. Hey, Alex, I'm doing good, man. Thanks for stopping by. Hope hope you're doing well.
weird no one goes hungry. they're only turning this into a 4-2 i thought they would use the the war shafts for sure to make that five but nine so that's 12 There's our big creatures. My shield is yours. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. It's just actual perfect. Pretty great. That was pretty great. To the base. Can't bite on an empty stomach. Just have it all. GG's. Alright, we picked up a loss. Yeah, that, those those two bright steel protectors were, were really rough. You know, obviously all the war shafts are just amazing, but then you have then the double protector. Um, then that radiant strike saving, like that radiant strike was per perfect too. Just all of it. Oh well. Okay, which decks are standing above the others? Um, yeah, we had a, a rank up Sunday stream yesterday. These three, I'll link them here, were, are my favorite three, or like the three decks I recommend the most, the three that I think are the most powerful. Uh, one of them is the deck that we're about to play against. This deck that we're about to play against I think is probably the strongest, Bannerman Zed. That one right there. This Karma Thresh Control, the second one. Um, okay, you watched the Draven Control. I was gonna, I was gonna say that one also. Um, the Karma Thresh is really good, but not, not a necessarily easy deck to play. Kind of a tougher deck to play, but every every time I've played, it, I've done really well. It's a, it's a, it's, you know, like the, it's my favorite control deck. Um, but then yeah, the. The Draven control. Who does not know the name there we go. The Draven control is definitely a deck I recommend. Or let's see, sorry. Draven control also felt really impressive. That was my first time playing it yesterday, and it felt really impressive. Um, but it was my first time playing it. The other two decks, I, I definitely recommend. I will unite the Freljord. Cool. Yeah, the Bannerman Zed is is probably the easiest to to just pick up and play, and is really good, and and you have faster games. So I'm going to have Legion Drummer give the Ash um, the Quick Attack, not the Rhymefang Wolf. Rough. This is just pretty awesome, though. 
hand was quite good. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. I'm basically playing the Trifarian Assessor over the Babbling Bjerg because like they both draw a card, but the babbling Bjerg. Um, or sorry, but this thing is a 4-3. The other one's a 3-3. Three, three. How do I want to do this? This will be quick. Hey, there you go, Scarface. Just got the silver. Start on iron today. Good job. Seven and one. We're winning a ton. Let's see. Got these two drops. Draven Ez. Get rid of that and keep Elixir. Get rid of this also. Heck, I'm gonna get rid of all of them, honestly. One Toughness is just not really the, the best place to be against Draven Ez, because Draven Ez you know, plays all three Static Shocks. No, I didn't create this list. This list is courtesy of another streamer. Um, I found it on Mobile Addicts on that website. I'm going to keep this Elixir of Iron. I'll just let that die. That's fine. Um, I, let's see if I can figure out the name by just searching for this deck again. Is it like Alan Z, I think? I uh, know maybe this one maybe this one was on Dex of Runeterra. Like Alan ZQ. Yeah, yeah, Alan ZQ. Yeah. I'm pretty sure and I and I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure this is his deck. But this this list I did not create. The next list that we're, we're going to play, the River Shaper Fiora, I did I made that list, but this one I did not. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Cool. Thanks, Scarface. Uh, I have not tried Winter's Breath, the seven mana frost spell. Um, Swiftly now. No, it's just it's very slow. This is gonna hurt Expensive. For you. Draven, Why would they block? Like just why even block that? What was What was the point of that block? Uh, this hearth guard's still bugged. Victory is 
archery requires a sharp blade. I'm going for the the really high upside play of drawing a lot of cards with a assessor. Line up. Line up. Well, elixir of iron's a great draw. Perfect, there you go. You only have to craft two lancers for that deck. Perfect. Yeah, let me know how it goes for you too. Oh, um, with that list, I talk about at the end of the video, I think you should take out one rally and play a third. Um, Radiant Strike, the one the one drop common. I think you should have three of those those one mana plus one plus ones and only one. As the arrow flies. And only one um, of the rally card, Relentless Pursuit. Which is not a good block. I don't think they're gonna spawn that too. Okay. Alright, I guess it's fine then. Cool, yeah. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Mother will unite us all. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Nailed it. Could have just used harsh winds to keep this from happening. Instead of elixir. That's a good draw. Only the finest serve. So what are you at? You're at three out of five. Well, we'll just kill him then. Eight and one. If Ash was at 4 out of 5, we'd be able to play Ash and Frostbite, and then they couldn't block, and we'd do even more damage, but it was still lethal either way. So. Awesome. Deck assembled. There you go. That's exciting. <laughs> I've played against this, this opponent a few times. Pretty... Like the name. Proven no IQ. Let's go with it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, Glory Seeker should be good. Like, basically, Glory Seekers are Elise removal. We obviously don't want Glory Seeker to tussle with any spiders. This is an Iceborne Spiders deck. I like the. Just like the spider tokens, but. We can make sure it doesn't. Yes, deck's doing really well. Better than expected. Rough. Yeah, you can find all of my decks here, Warlord. Or you can also check out all the all the replays on the YouTube channel. And um, and all the videos on the YouTube channel have the link to the deck list and the code in the description. There are two Trindomirs and one Katarina in this deck. You're welcome. That egg, did it move? We 
emerge as one, an unstoppable force. Victory requires a sharp blade. The problem with playing something here is now they get to play, you know, like the five mana card to get three, um, three spooky spiders. Oh, vile feast. Yeah, Runeterra Mobile is supposed to be released the first half of 2020. So it, it you know, that's that's what they announced last year. That's what they said last year. First half of, like, the end of last year. It was first half of 2020. So we haven't haven't really seen any updates since then. So, um... I know some some places already have mobile. Um, I don't remember exactly where. I think it was maybe like Singapore or something like that. Somewhere already has mobile. It's doing the testing. Somewhere in the world already has mobile. <clears throat> this is going to be it's been kind of difficult. These are very large spiders. Wow. Was not not good wow yeah that brittle steel that was a killer I was relying on Katarina Smell a fight! No, 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 no. 
So close. You don't stand a chance. So close. You take exactly one. That brittle steel was a killer. Brighties! Hey, brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Welcome our new sub into the stream. Thank you so much there, Brighties. All right, so that's a sub goal hit. Nice, hit a sub goal today. Um, let's take a look at the update for our, for our sub goals. We're getting pretty close. That is sub goal number 17. Like one of the first info panels. So that's 17 out of 20. Whenever we get to 20 sub goals hit, I'll be doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate. So we're three sub goals away from a 12 hour stream. Awesome. All right, so there we go. That was Frostbite midrange. We went eight and two with the deck. Both losses were very close. Um, you know, we had, we had a couple of close losses there. But uh, yeah, this deck played really, really well. Uh, definitely, um, definitely very happy with it. And yeah, I have to say that yeah, it was fun to play. Like it's you know Legion Drummer, Glory Seeker, Rhymefang Wolf, Ash. You know we got Hearthguard and Omen Hawk. These are a lot of fun, fun cards. Assessor was drawing a lot of cards for us. It's a fun deck to play. So yeah, pretty excited about this one. Um, not really anything to change, I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really anything too much to change. I have to say that an 8-2 is pretty good. All right, but those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Those likes and comments really help. You know, you can let me know what you think of the deck if you're trying it out yourself, or um, you know, let me know what you think of having the music now added in there. Hopefully those of y'all on YouTube are really enjoying having that. Um, but there we go. So that's it here for Frostbite Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.